Hey guys, Dr. Sean here with Health and Wealth Optimization Podcast and YouTube channel. Here with a quick video on making coffee. The best way to do it, what I like to do. There's a lot of different ways of doing it, but what I want to share with you is how I do it and, and see if it's a benefit to you. So coffee is a, has a lot of health benefits. I don't want to do a, a video uh, today right now on all the health benefits of coffee, but suffice it to say, there are a lot. So, uh, what I am going to be talking to today about is cold brew coffee and some tips that I've learned along the way that I'd like to share with you uh, I think would be helpful to, to, to get out there for our audience to follow you. So um, what I use is uh, I start with whole bean coffee. So whole bean coffee uh, is, is best because it preserves the, the nutrient value and also makes it taste better if you don't buy ground coffee. So I buy... Um, uh, a particular brand called Don Pablo. I like the light roast because it's not so cooked as much. I think it probably has, is less degraded uh, from the high heat that you get with a dark roast. So I use a light roast. And uh, Don Pablo is, I don't have any financial relationship with them. Uh, you know, we don't get sponsors. We're not for profit. So uh, uh, anyway, this, uh, th this is a, um, this is a great, a great product. I get it off uh, Amazon for about uh, I think it's like seven dollars a pound so I buy five pounds uh, of it and then I grind it fresh and then I put it in a uh, gallon jar of water so I get water uh, I have a filtration system in my house but I also take that filtration system and run it through uh, Brita pitchers and you can stack these three or three of them uh, three or four or five of them in a row and they'll filter um, you, you get basically three, four filtrations with it in, in the same period of time it would, um, you know, just to do one. So uh, I recommend stacking them that way, save a lot of time because I used to filter one and then do it again and filter and it was taking forever. So uh, uh, that will save you some tip. You take that non-chlorinated water, put it in there. And the reason why I use non-chlorinated water is because you don't want chlorinated water going into your body and disrupting your microbiome. So it just is... You know, puts it in chlorine. You know, is a, a highly reactive chemical that uh, has it basically an electrical charge on it that that causes it to be harmful to bacteria. But it's going to disrupt your your bacteria and your stomach. So uh, use non chlorinated water. Uh, I grind my coffee. As soon as I grind it, I put it in that jar so that it's not exposed to air. Because when that that ground coffee is exposed to air, it can it can oxidize and start. Um, changing its form so it decreases its flavor but you know I'm less about the flavor I'm more about preserving the the flavanols and the polyphenols and the, and the molecules that are in uh, in these uh, coffee beans and uh, uh, other substances so that, that they don't start degrading and, and they and more importantly they don't become problematic in an inflamed state so one example of that is uh, a peppercorn you know a uh, uh, fresh cracked uh, pepper is a tradition you put crack you know crack uh, uh, crack on, on on food and uh, it's been a tradition one it tastes better and you do it fresh but there's an ingredient in it uh, piperine that helps to increase the nutrient value of food so that at your nutrition especially as you're consuming it so that uh, you can actually absorb more so you want you want fresh cracked pepper because it starts degrading that uh, that that important molecule starts degrading uh, in in like f within 15 minutes. So you have got to get that quickly uh, on your food and absorb it and, and uh, eat it. So um, I like to add black pepper to my coffee, just a little bit, not a lot. So it doesn't taste like liquid pepper, but it does give it a more interesting flavor and enhances uh, the nutrient value too. So consider doing some fresh cracked pepper in your, in your, uh, uh, cold brew coffee and the other thing I like to do is I like to add a little cacao I use to start with cacao nibs the same thing you know I used to buy uh, cocoa powder uh, but you know it was already ground it and I noticed when I started getting cacao nibs and grinding my own cacao that it was much richer it smelled better it tasted better and I realized this is like you know ground coffee that's been surrounded with ground pepper it's not going to have the nutritional value Folks, we are just supposed to be eating things fresh. We're supposed to get these seeds and grind them ourselves. So, you know, I, I think it's just laziness that you, somewhere along we got the lazy gene and the homo sapien uh, genome, and we buy all this stuff already ground up to save time. 
But when you do that, you take shortcuts and you introduce inflammation, you know, uh, food and nutrient nutrients that have been exposed to air and potentially more inflam uh, inflammatory and harmful to our bodies and certainly not as helpful. So buy coffee beans, grind them up, put them in the water right away so that they start cold brewing. I set it in the jar for a uh, in a couple days and I do a nice cold brew and I like to add cacao nibs uh, grind the cacao nibs at, uh, right right away put it in the water and black pepper the same thing so get in the habit of uh, grinding things up uh, and, and immediately uh, not having them exposed to air by getting them in the water and uh, or brewing your coffee and I think uh, you will first of all enjoy a, a deeper richer cup of coffee that tastes better but more important it's going to be more awesome for your awesome body. All right, well, that's my health tip today. I hope you find it interesting and look forward to sharing more with you. If you like this video, uh, give it a like and uh, consider subscribing to us. We wanna give you awesome tips on how to make the most important asset that you have, your physical, ass the physical assets uh, that, that you own. There's nothing more important than your body. And we're here to help you optimize that body. Okay, see you next time.